Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you how to scrape Google Maps listings, how to enrich them with decision maker emails and how to write amazing personalized cold emails at scale and the best thing, how to do it automatically so you can chill and basically the workflow will be doing everything. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's say you're maybe social media or a lead generation AI powered agency and you're targeting real estate agencies and all of these listings are basically potential businesses and scraping them one by one would be pretty hard and time consuming so I'm gonna show you a faster way on how to do it and we're gonna be diving deeper into the workflow in NA10. I'm gonna guide you step by step each node what is it doing and how it's enriching and basically creating these cold email automated personalized campaigns for outreach. So first of all, we need these listings. One way would be just doing one by one and losing time. My recommendation is using Apify. It's basically a scraping marketplace. They're called actors and you can scrape a lot of stuff in there. So when you log in, you can have a free trial, I think, but some of the tools need to be paid and I'm going to cover the cost in a second. And here, like when you go, let's say actors or store, and then you have like a lot of different kind of scrapers. But the one that we need today is the Google Maps scraper. And it's a pretty handy one. You don't need to subscribe on it. You just like pay per event and it costs like four bucks for 1000 places. So that's pretty cost effective if you ask me compared to like uh, Apollo or something else. So how does it work? Basically you come here, you have the search term, let's say real estate agency location, San Diego, let's say, and then number of places you can play with this. You, for testing purposes, go with the lower number, then later increase it then language and you have these nice add-ons here but i didn't play much of it because out of this i just want to get the listings and the website because we're gonna use the website to actually enrich the leads and get the decision maker email and then so we can be doing some call outreach right so when you set up these you click start here and then the actor will be running and basically you will get results like this so this is like 250 results and it took it like one or two minutes maybe. And uh, you get like uh, the place name, you get the website, which is really important for us. And then you get some more information like uh, the phone number if you later want to reach out or something. So I would suggest you that you download this by going here, export and then Excel or CSV. And then you can upload it in uh, Google Sheets or Airtable even better, but Google Sheets works as well. And you can fine tune it here, like you can kick out some of these uh, useless columns, but you need like uh, the company name, you can change it to company name if you wish. And you need the website, phone number I would leave. And then here you can add a column like enriched and no email, okay? So let's go back to NA10. So basically this, uh, workflow which I'm gonna guide you in a second is taking rows from this Google Sheets and then enriching them with decision maker emails and creating three cold emails one opener one follow-up and a second follow-up and automatically uploading them into instantly so there's ways how you can just like take this scraper and automate it so it like with this API endpoints you can like set post and get this data but I usually do it manually it's easier to control when I do more scrapes in the sheets I can remove duplicates and stuff like that so I don't think this time this thing is really time consuming you prepare the list you prepare a few thousand people but enriching it is really time consuming and that's what I automate mainly so let's check out the workflow so here we have Google Sheets you just connect it here. If you don't have the credentials, you would click here, add new credential, and then directly connect it with your um, email. And then in here, we're pulling data from uh, this list and from this sheet. And then filters is enriched is 
is empty because each that has a yes in it will not be enriched. So we don't want the workflow to going through the same ones, right? And each that doesn't have an email will have a no here. So that's good for us to know. Okay, then we have here loop over items, bed size one, and then we have edit fields to take the website. And then we have a code node. Basically, I just took ChatGPT and told it that I want it removed. So I want like a clean website like this because I need a clean website to enrich it with animal. And animal finder is uh, a nice tool when you come here. It's paid tool, but like for 50 bucks, I think you get like thousand emails or something. And they have a really nice API connection. When you click here, you just take like uh, the authorization and uh, the code. And I'm using like for one credit, you get like a lot of emails, but for two credits, you get the decision maker email. So I'm using this option and it's uh, straightforward when you come here and like... Uh, decision maker email so this is the post and you just send back the barrier with outer, with your api key and it costs like two credits okay so i'm gonna be changing those by the way don't worry so when you come here and um, you push it from here so in here we have just the domain we take the domain decision maker ceo this is like the json out of it and we get something like this, like domain, CEO, and everything. And then we have a, an if node. So basically, if it found the email, go, go like through the whole process. If it didn't find the email, come here and just update this sheet and go back into the loop node, okay? So when it found the email, we want to scrape the website with a HTTP request and we get like the full home page. I'm doing only home page here. You could do more pages, combine it, make it more complicated, but with the home page, it works pretty fine. You want to remove the HTML so you get the plain text like this. And this is just a code node that you can generate with ChatGPT. And then here we have uh, get recent uh, growth milestones. So this is like a prompt, your sales assistant, your job is to scan a company homepage and extract one, two short real insights that could be used to personalize the cold email. Only use found uh, in the input, don't assume or fabricate anything. And here we have a text like analyze this company website and extract one, two interesting verifiable insights that the salesperson could reference in a personalized cold email, be brief, natural, and then we have the context and it basically pulls. Uh, so this here, you would pull basically from this here, you just pull it here and you will get it here, okay? As a variable. And then we get something like this, like insight, new reality real estate emphasizes and blends a modern practice with traditional values, which could appeal, blah, blah, blah. So this insight we could use in the cold email to craft a nice open okay here we have a note to clean company name so when we reach out we don't say like new reality real estate inc or something we just want to say new reality then we get the first name so out of the any mail finder you pull here the expression extract the first name from the full name and this is like the full the whole name we don't want to send people something like this but we get actually just the uh, name okay so right now we have three nodes like write first opener follow up follow up and then uploading it instantly so writing the first opener here we have like the variables first name company name and the result of what we scraped and then here we have a prompt so for the inside place, uh, you're a cold email assistant. Your only task is to fill the placeholders in the email template below using provided variables. Do not change the structure or add anything new. Because if you don't have this kind of prompt and you have like a nice template here, if you don't tell it to change stuff, then each email will be different. And if each email is different, then you will be not able to actually make decisions based on data because let's say you sent thousand emails and each email was different you cannot like pull 
what really worked. But when you have a nice template and you're just filling in the variables like company name, the result and the opener, then you actually can pull the data and make decisions and have like a scientific approach there where you test different stuff, optimize and improve. Okay. So um, do not include markdown. So this kind of prompt uh, by testing, like I had uh, problems, uh, it wasn't pulling the data as it should, but with some chat GPT help and everything, uh, I managed to create a really nice prompt that gets a really nice result, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Here's a template to fill, like randomly choose one of the following subject lines, quick name, first name, Aaron told me to reach out first name and it will be changing those. So these work really good, like just quick question, first name or like some famous name that uh, told you like to reach out, these get really good open rates. And then here we have like high first name, insight, and then we specialize in helping real estate teams like company get 20 plus home seller appointments each month and we only charge per result we helped companies like this and this okay if i send a quick video showing how we do it so i like to pitch the video it's easier than like chat or meeting because it's easier to say yes to a video and in the value video you can have their website in the background like talk a little bit, you can record personalize each of those. There's different methods how you can automate that stuff as well, but definitely like just open up Loom, record one, two minutes, personalize video pitch and uh, pitch for the meeting. So here's what we get. Hey Daniel, cool to see how new reality real estate emphasizes a blend of modern practices with traditional values, which could appeal to clients looking for a trustworthy partner in their real estate journey. And then the pitch. We specialize in helping real estate teams like New Reality get blah blah blah. Okay. Second email. So we pulled the same data here, and then uh, in the prompt, kind of similar structure with all the instructions, but but we gave it a different um, template. So follow up on our previous conversation. Hey, Daniel, just wanted to follow up to see if you had a chance to check out my last note. I'd love to show you something real quick and then we go with the pitch again. So this email is sent like three days if they didn't reply. And then one more email like, hey, Daniel, thought I'd hit you one last time. I still think I can help New Reality generate more home salaries, but I'll assume the timing isn't right. No pressure at all. Okay, so we got the three emails, we got everything in here. Next step is to upload it to instantly. And uh, in here, like you just pull everything together. Let me show you. So the email, the first name, the last name, company, personalization, phone, and everything you need like to pull it here as a JSON. And then here you will have the preview. And when you do it like this, you push it. I have a wait note here because if you send too many requests to Google Sheets, it could get like flagged. And here like you have uh, the enriched yes. So when we start a new round that we don't get new leads in. Okay. So let's test it out. Click test workflow. And all of these will land here in instantly. So it's going through the workflow, one, two, three, four. It found the email here. Okay, this is the Jesse. It's creating the first email, creating the second email. Okay, we have an error here. Let's see if it gets true. Yeah, it got true. That's nice. And it created uh, the lead and it will automatically be added here. So we have seven leads right now. Where is Jesse? And here we have like the email one. Nice touch with uh, limiting your clients intake to only seven clients at a time for personalized service. We specialize in and then the pitch. So the opener is only different and everything is the same. Email two, email three, subject one, subject two. And how you actually add those, you just come here and click like email subject one and then email body one preview and you will get this quick question jesse and then the full email and i would 
suggest you that you have maybe here like this and you add your signature as well as a variable when you add the emails and everything so you will do the same here like second email maybe two or three days in between if they didn't answer and then you have here the subject two and here you have the email number two and then the third one three more days so here we we will have the email subject three and email body three so basically the campaign right now will be filling up on its own you save those okay we don't want to add a variant right now and you go go back here you refresh so eight leads right now and it's going through the circles now when we refresh it's nine leads and then basically you can sit back and relax there will be sometimes errors popping up here so keep an eye you can have error uh, notifications so you go back manually but what i found good when i have a workflow like this you see this node is giving a few errors so here actually i have like always on these nodes that have some errors like retry and fail three times five seconds in between and usually that fixes it as you can see but um, what i like to do is change this manual one to a scheduled one and like schedule it each 20 minutes when i have a huge list let's say thousand or two thousand people and i just let it on site and when there's some error like small error then usually on a new schedule it will go away but if it's a bigger error i get the notification and then i can go in and fix it but usually this works on its own okay so yeah this is the workflow basically from scraping google sheets and taking the companies and reaching them with the decision maker emails creating or personalized emails and basically adding them automatically to instantly and yeah this is a really nice way to scale your outreach personalized outreach so if you want to learn more about this join my free school community or book a call with me there's gonna be a link below no pressure about that like share subscribe thank you and see you in the next video